Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where my body is very sore because I've taken up jogging again. Now with the dog, which is very irritating. Today we are covering Action Comics number 62, There Will Always Be a Superman. A comic that falls under one of my favorite and least used type of Superman genre. A genre I like to call Superman Forever. That's how it end my Superman trilogy with Superman Forever. Yeah, I know Batman Forever kind of ruined the forever part, but I like it. It doesn't quite fall under that kind of category because most of it is a different kind of story than the idea that Superman's basically going to live forever, saving humanity. But the World War II story that bookends, well not bookends, it's in between the bookends of this story, is actually a blast. It's like the most fun World War II story. So far, World War II stories haven't been as horrifying as I expected, but this one, this one takes the cake. So we're in the future, the year 2140, and things don't quite look how DC portrays the future once we get, like, the Legionnaires. That's okay, there's, there's barely continuity right now. Some future kids are watching, like, spaceships pick up fish, because that's how they fish in the future. And this annoys some old-looking dude who, I don't know what he does, he kind of looks like an observer. He decides to tell them a story about Superman, and this goes back to their fishing village back in 1940s. Uh, this comic came out in 1943, so I'm going to assume it's then. So Lois and Clark are around some, like, Navy vessels. Lois is specifically on the boat. Clark is on shore. The boat is overrun by Nazis and led by, like, this evil Nazi captain who is ridiculously drawn, like, how you want to do a cartoon Nazi. And he has probably an offensive German accent. Him and his men take most of the people off the boat, and then guys in underwater diving suits jump up with weird condom helmets, can't unsee it, and drag everyone under to their underwater base. Cool underwater base, cartoon Nazis, Nazi guildmen, already loving this. They don't get everyone, and some people come back to shore. This is when Clark finds out what's happening, so he becomes Superman. You know, Superman, bright blue costume, red cape. Can breathe underwater. Well, he doesn't have to breathe. He doesn't breathe underwater. I'm wrong there. Just doesn't have to breathe. He grabs the captain of the vessel that was overtaken. He didn't really need him. He could just go to the general area and use his x-ray vision. He's not going to miss an underwater base. He's not that blind. And he flies him out to the middle of the ocean where they both go underwater and the captain tries to help him free his men. This is where the real fun starts because the Nazis try several different things against Superman and no weapon made by man can hurt him till man can make a weapon out of kryptonite. Still does not exist. So the Nazis' captain last ditch effort, I'm probably going to end up saying that a lot, is to take Lois hostage. Well, he already has her hostage, but he puts a gun up to her head, which happens often, but because it's not the end of the story, Superman's not going to immediately save her and outsmart the Nazis. He's going to let them do some things. So the Nazis put all their hostages, except for Lois and Superman, into a big cavern and then cause an explosion to flood and collapse it on everyone. Unfortunately for them, and fortunately for those guys, Superman holds the collapsing cavern long enough for everybody else to get out. And then he gets buried alive by the ensuing collapse of the cavern. Now, he's afraid even at this moment that he's going to be buried alive and killed by this, but Superman's basically survived this three or four times already. He should expect he's not going to die. Too bad the Nazis don't know that. The Nazis were prepared, though, for the guys coming out of the cavern, so they have a machine gun ready to just unload on everybody running out of the cavern. But as they unload it, Superman crashes through the bottom of the ground, blocking the bullets. And then he ties the guns because he's like Bugs Bunny and saves everyone. Uh, there's now a new problem. The explosion is causing flooding into the secret base. So Superman goes right up to find that they're underneath a fishing village the entire time. So Superman throws every single person out, though he beats up the Nazis first. The lead Nazi tries one last ditch effort. Superman basically punches him through the hole, which is, you know what? Finally, a fun way for him to take care of someone other than like threatening him a bit till they admit to something. You don't really have to admit to something or forcibly admit to something when you're wearing a Nazi uniform. Just common sense. That dude's probably pretty bad. This turns out to be the Philistine village that the future story is taking place in. And when we cut back to that, 
Superman is still alive in 2040, still saving people. Probably really sad about Lois dying, but I've always loved the idea that Superman is forever. So it's not that story, but it's an absolute bonkers, buck wild World War II story with actual cartoon Nazis who are trying some ridiculous things against Superman. And honestly, that's all I want because you need to give him a challenge. And we do not give him a challenge or we don't really even to affect his character all that much. Remember, he's a pretty easy character to hurt emotionally. So I really like Action Comics number 62. There will always be a Superman. Definitely read this one out of like probably the five Action Comics I've supported so far. But this, this one's top tier golden age Superman story. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe with the bell icon to get notification when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Fridays is Bat Friday, where I cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the Man of Tomorrow? And how many wives do you think Superman's had in the future? Okay, have a great day.